This is Boxing Tickets NI in association with SB Sports. We're here at the final press conference for Lopez and Colin. I'm delighted to be joined in person for the first time. Pierce O'Leary, how are you, mate? I'm all good, Steve. Nice to meet you. Um, geez, it's been a long time, hasn't it, since an interview? So we're here now. Um, the last one we've done, what was it, six months ago? Probably even now, probably the start of the year. And I guess at that stage, we probably didn't know this was on the horizon. Were you sort of, I guess you're probably still maybe having to pinch yourself, I guess. You've obviously, this your third fight now in Belfast, but, but what a card to be on on Saturday night, I guess. For you to start submitting your own plans, obviously fighting in Dublin, this is a good teaser for you, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. It's um, A lot of tickets have been sold for it as well, also. So, um, it's in just a step closer, getting back onto the home soil. So, it's something to move down south then eventually. Um, and that'll be only a matter of time. Obviously, we had Katie Taylor in the three arena last week. Did you watch the card? Obviously, I know sometimes you're so focused on your own fights, but did you sort of watch it? Did you sort of, I guess you'd love to have been there. Did you sort of soak it all in so you can sort of start visualising yourself being there? But great they obviously have the three arena back. It was amazing last week, the atmosphere, and it was incredible. But I guess what Irish show wasn't incredible these days? Well, it was fantastic. It was, uh, <laughs> listen, boxing the three arena, like. I remember being at the last event there, and uh, that was electric as well, you know. But listen, that was last Saturday night was was special. I never seen anything like it in Dublin. Um, that was just for me. I just fed off that, you know. That was uh, there was a lot of motivation to, to, to do. It, not the, obviously the three arena. It will be the goal in the next couple, of, like the next 14 months. But it was motivation to get a small hall show somewhere where they could have three. 5,000 people, you know what I mean? Um, that would be the gold. Um, I think it's very doable also. So yeah, we just we just keep tick, ticking all the boxes as, as, as we do at, at the moment. And we just, listen, it, it was it was great to see Katie Taylor. And obviously, I would have loved to be there, but I've got my own thing. But I kept saying to myself, listen, what I'm doing now is for my own path. So um, that, that was that was me, um, me, me motto for, for that, you know? But um, she done some, Incredible card. Card was card was crazy. Um, the, the atmosphere right from six o'clock that night right up until the main event. It just goes to show what Irish boxing was missing. Truly. I guess the only thing obviously missing obviously was some of the results. Obviously with four defeats obviously on the night, but I guess it's only a defeat if you sort of don't don't learn from. Obviously Gary Collard obviously be similar to yourself, and big, big things are obviously you know thought of. He's obviously he's gone on the world title things, but but particularly for Gary, obviously I guess in some ways sometimes. If you get a defeat before you sort of get to that bigger stage, you can sort of learn and regrow. Because let's face it, you can have wee mistakes that build in. I guess obviously the atmosphere may have played a part on the night as well, but it'll obviously come back stronger from it. And Irish boxing, obviously, as you've seen since you made your debut, pretty much across the road in the Ulster Hall in 2019. How much has come on the last couple of years? Yeah, it's been crazy. Um, first and foremost, about Gary. Um, I think he learned so much from that fight. Um, he's an incredible fighter. And it's not lost because he's going to gain so much from that. And uh, and then, yeah, like literally three hours, like, one, of my, um, one of my coaches staying at the, the, the Grand Central. And I walked out there and I didn't realise where I was. I looked at it and I said, there's the Walter Hall there. Jeez, I made my day out there three years ago. It's mad, time's gone quick, mate. It's gone quite quick. It's obviously great to have you back, obviously, as well. Obviously, you're defending, obviously, you're built on, on Saturday night. I guess in some ways, you're obviously building a big platform, obviously, in England. Obviously, your stoppage ones, you know, obviously, you're getting so many names in England. You're Clark Kent. Your new one now is the Horse Whisperer as well. Obviously, I've seen your video with Dave the other day. What was the crack with the Horse Whisperer? I've been doing it a while, yeah. I have this horse on, on, on the park in the field where the gym is. And, uh, and I've been doing it. I've just done it once one time, going back probably two years ago. And uh, one, of the, one of my main coaches, Al, was there. He's seen it. And he was amazed really, yeah. And every time then someone new came to the gym or someone was invited to the gym, he he pulled me out of the gym and said, Yeah, let's quick come on we do this, do this quick. So I was like, uh, this is only a band and it, it was good for the media. Um, and also it shows like the good character outside boxer you know what I mean? It's all about having fun, it's all about making the people laugh. Um, yeah, listen, it is what it is, but it's quite funny. Finally, obviously, when he touched on, obviously, I seen Frank's column yesterday. Obviously, he was, he was talking, obviously, on the card. Frank obviously thinks a lot of you, which is obviously great to hear. He obviously said he's happy to obviously put you in with Dalton Smith and Adam Azim. Does that obviously build you with confidence? The fact that your promoter is saying that you're ready for these tests. I guess in some ways, you have your own path. 
you don't want to obviously focus on other fighters, you want to focus on where you want to get to without going, I want this fight or I want this fight. I guess if people are speaking in that way, it's obviously a show in the talents there. And, and if, if Frank's happy to put you into these tests, then obviously it, it can only fill you with more belief in what's to come in the future. That's it, exactly. Once my team, like, if they're the kind of fights that my like, team believe in me, all that I'm capable of winning, that goes, goes to show how much they believe in me, you know what I mean? Um, for me now, I just sort of I'm on my own path. I don't call anyone out. We just keep doing my thing, keep on winning, keep on. Um, we've got a great plan at the moment. What, what we're doing, so we're just going to keep on doing that. And listen, if someone like that passes our our path with some sort of title that we want, well then obviously it's going to be a clash at some stage. But for now, we just keep on focusing, and keep on pushing on. Keep up and building up with them WBC rankings as well. Obviously defending your WBC belt on Saturday night should push you up the rankings further. I'll obviously keep you updated when obviously the rankings come out as well so we can see if we can get you into that top 15. But I guess that's a dream by the end of the year to get, to get ranked in the top 15 with one of the world governing bodies. Yeah, 100%. Um, definitely, that, that, that'd be the goal. Uh, and also we'll have, don't want to say too much, but we've got big things coming for the end of the year so I'll keep that for now. Well, listen, thanks very much for your time as always. Enjoy the press conference. We'll obviously look forward to seeing you back in action on, on Saturday night and obviously defending your belt. And still. And still. And still. Cheers, Pierce. Take care.